Hello, hello, hello. Yes, people, what is going on? So today I'm going to show you a five-minute explosive workout that you can do to improve your speed and power for football. The workout is going to consist of five exercises and working for 30 seconds and resting for 30 seconds on each exercise. You can do it before a session as a good warm-up or you can do it after session for additional explosive training. And I recommend doing this workout around two to three times a week. But yeah, that's enough talking from me. Let's just get on with the workout. Bosh. So the first explosive exercise we're going to be performing is explosive jumps. For this exercise you want to stand with your feet around shoulder width apart and your knees slightly bent. You then want to jump over the hurdle in front of you whilst bringing your knees to your chest. Look to really exert maximum force as you drive your knees up towards your chest. When going through the hurdles look to have as minimal contact time with the ground as possible. You really want to focus on being quick and explosive with each jump. Continue to perform as many explosive jumps as you possibly can within the 30 seconds. The second exercise we're going to be performing is lateral explosive jumps. For this exercise you want to stand with your feet quite close together. You then want to slightly bend your knees and then as you come up you want to use the momentum to jump laterally over the hurdles. It's important that following your explosive jump you have good balance and you're in full control of your body when you land. This will enable you to perform the lateral jumps quickly with the correct technique. This is a great exercise especially for football as in a match you don't just move in straight lines, you move in multiple directions. The third exercise we're going to be performing is going to be hops. For this exercise you want to stand on one leg with a slight bend at the knee. You then want to hop over the hurdle in front of you whilst bringing your knee up towards your chest. Similar to explosive jumps, look to really exert maximum force whilst having minimal contact time with the ground. When you reach the end of the hurdles, swap the leg in which you're hopping and continue to perform as many hops as you possibly can within the 30 seconds. <laughs> The fourth exercise we're going to be performing is explosive jumps to lateral bounds. For this exercise you want to perform an explosive jump over the hurdle in front of you. Once you land from the explosive jump you want to perform a lateral bound away from the hurdles. When performing a lateral bound you want to make sure you really explode outside of the hurdles to get the most out of the exercise. With that being said be conscious of jumping too far as you want to maintain good balance when performing the exercise. You want to continue to repeat this process throughout the hurdles alternating the leg in which you perform the lateral bound. With. Fifth and final exercise we're going to be performing is hops to lateral bounds. This exercise, as you probably can guess, is very similar to the previous exercise. Rather than performing explosive jumps through the hurdles, you want to perform hops followed by lateral bounds instead. After each hop over the hurdle, alternate the leg in which you're performing the hop with. You want to continue to repeat this process throughout the entire 30 seconds.
after that I feel explosive which does make sense because that was the purpose of the workout but anyway let me stop talking rubbish and explain the workout again so it's a five minute explosive workout that you can do to improve your speed and power for football only five exercises working for 30 seconds and resting for 30 seconds on each exercise like i said beforehand i recommend doing this workout around two to three times a week you can do it before a training session or after a training session but yeah training session training session but yeah that's enough talk from me if you've got any questions leave them in the comment section below but until next time bye